Hi, in the previous video, I have covered what do we mean by matrices and what are the different types of matrices, row matrix, column matrix and the square matrix and how do we find the order of the matrix. In this video, we will see how do we form an augmented and a coefficient matrix from a given system of linear equation. So let us begin with augmented matrix. What is an augmented matrix? An augmented matrix is a matrix that is formed by taking the coefficients and also the constant terms. Okay, so one thing which has to be noted here is that whenever we have to form the augmented matrix, the system of linear equation should always be in the standard form. Okay, it should be in the form of, if there are three variables, then say A1x plus B1y plus C1z is equal to a constant D1. A2x plus B2y plus C2z is equal to a constant D2 and A3x plus B3y plus C3z is equal to the constant D3. So all these three equations are in the standard form and now if we have to form the augmented matrix, an augmented matrix will be a collection of all the coefficients okay and the constant so now we have the coefficients of x so first let's list down the coefficients of x a1 a2 a3 then the coefficients of y b1 b2 b3 the coefficients of z c1 c2 c3 and then we put this colon mark and after that all the constant term which is on the right hand side of the equation so these three are the coefficient coefficients and this is the constant term which is on the right hand side of the equation please note that each of the equation in this system of linear equation is represented by row r1 row r2 and row r3 of the matrix okay so the first Three coefficients are the coefficients of x, y and z in the first equation, a1, b1 and c1 and d1 is the constant of the first equation. Similarly, we have the coefficients and the constant for the second and the coefficients and constant for the third and this matrix is known as augmented matrix. I hope this much is clear. If there is a system of linear equation in which some of the variables is missing, then we have to write the coefficient of that variable is 0. When we do an example, I will explain you that. Now, let us see what do we mean by coefficient matrix. In this case, let the system of equation be say of 4 variables. So, there will be 4 equation a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1u is equal to say a constant k1 and a4x plus b4y plus C4Z plus D4U is equal to a constant K4. We know that how many ever variables are there, we need that many equations to solve it. So there are four variables here, X, Y, Z and U and hence we have four equations here. Each equation will correspond to a row in the matrix and now this matrix is only of the coefficients of the variables. We will not be writing the constant term here. Okay, so we draw the matrix and each equation represents a row in the matrix. So we will have row 1, row 2, row 3 and row 4. Each row is represented by a capital R followed by the subscript. Okay, now let us fill in the elements here. So we have A1, A2, A3 and a4 the coefficients of x are filled then b1 b2 b3 and b4 the coefficients of y c1 
C2, C3, C4, the coefficients of Z and then we have D1, D2, D3 and D4 which are the coefficients of the variable u. We will not be writing the constant term here and this matrix is known as the coefficient matrix. Now you must be thinking that why are we learning the augmented and coefficient matrix at all? Why, where is it used? So in my first video I have told that the application of matrices is that it helps in solving the system of linear equations okay when you have a large number of variables if you have system of linear equation with four variables or five variables it is very easy to use matrices and solve those okay so that is why we have augmented matrix and the coefficient matrix now let us see an example if we have system of linear equation x plus 3y minus w is equal to 9 minus y plus 4z plus 2w is equal to minus 2 x minus 5z minus 6w is equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y minus 3z is equal to 4 okay what we want to find out the first thing which is required is to write the augmented matrix the second thing is to tell the order of the augmented matrix. Okay. So, let us see how many variables are there in this system of linear equation. There are four variables x, y, z and w. And we see that some of the equations have a missing variable. For example, the first equation, let us write the equation here. So we have x, we have plus 3y, we don't have a z term and we have a negative w. So well, in place of this, we can write a 0 times z. We need to have all the four variables in our equation. If one of the variable is missing, we will take the coefficient as 0 and write that variable. Okay, now let us write the second equation. The variable x is missing, so we will write it as 0x. We have to align all the variables. Minus y is minus 1y plus 4z and plus 2w is equal to negative 2. We have to align all the four variables, one below the other. The third equation has an x, so it is 1x. y is missing, so plus 0y. Then we have a z term. And we have a w term, constant is 0. And the fourth equation, 2x is there, 4y is there, minus 3z is there. And the u term is missing, so we can write it as 0u is equal to the constant term 4. Each linear equation, so each linear equation in this system of linear equation will correspond to a row in the augmented matrix. Our augmented matrix will be? First, listing all the coefficients of x. So, 1, 0, 1, 2, then the y, 3, minus 1, 0, 4, then z, 0, 4, negative 5, negative 3, minus 1, 2, minus 6, and 0. And then we put a colon sign. And after this, we list all the four constants. That's 9, minus 2, 0, and 4. So this is our augmented matrix. The second thing which we have to figure out is the order of this augmented matrix. Order is what? Number of rows by number of columns. Okay. So how many rows are there? The number of rows will be equal to how many ever equations you have. So we have four variables and hence there are four equations. So the number of rows are four and how many columns will be there? There will be total five column, one column each for all the four variable and one column for the constant here. And hence the order of the augmented matrix is four by five. So I hope it's very clear. What do we mean by augmented matrix? What do we mean by coefficient matrix? And how do we form an augmented matrix? So to form these matrices, the equations have to be written in the standard form with the constants on the right hand side. If in the system of linear equation, if the equation has missing variable, then we will be writing that variable with the coefficient 0. And once that is done, we will be filling in our 
augmented or the coefficient matrix. In our next video, we will see what are the permitted operations on the rows of a matrix and based on that, how do we go ahead and solve the system of linear equations. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.